into ePlan Electric P8, being the integrated architecture builder from Rockwell Automation. The idea, of course, here is to avoid any mistakes by picking the wrong parts. The IAB will help me actually create all the right parts, pick the right parts, and everything. So I'm going to save the file, uh, the configuration that I just did. So that means the rack that I just did. I'm going to save it so that I can import it straight into ePlan. So ePlan on its site has an interesting interface ready to go for this. It's called the Project Data, in terms of menus, PLC Import Data. Here you can open straight up this file that comes from IAB. You can even see the project itself. You can see the different PLC cards uh, that are to be imported, ready to be imported. And uh, just by running the import menu, we will generate individual items in ePlan that you can place either via drag and drop or via a different feature that is quite interesting called the generate schematics. Uh, we will see in a few seconds, I'm going to use that feature actually to generate the schematics. According to each individual component that was integrated uh, or imported, we are now ready to go and generate some pages of schematics. Some of these items are actually PLC cards, some of them are inputs, some of them are outputs. doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going, just going to pick the ones that I'm interested in. I'm going to go to the menu Generate Schematics and ePlan will automatically be able to generate one page of schematics for each individual PLC card. I could manually specify the pages or I could actually have ePlan calculate the pages for me. The idea here is to uh, actually have ePlan evaluate whether it needs one or two pages per schematic uh, per card. Some of these cards may need a little bit more than others. So here, just by clicking on the OK button, I won't save it because I don't need it at this point, I will generate the individual schematic pages related to each of these individual I.O. cards. You'll see it's quite interesting here when you take a look at it. In a few seconds, you will see on the left-hand side here, a few new pages appear. Each of these pages corresponds to each individual I.O. card. Now it's actually ready to be uh, used in ePlan. As you know, in ePlan, I have very smart ways of looking at uh, inputs or outputs at any type of connection that we have. In ePlan, we have the ability to insert, of course, symbols. By picking the symbol, I'm just going to pick here a uh, very, very standard push button. But look at this. The Auto Connect is capable of recognizing how many inputs are on the right hand side. It will automatically connect them if I want them on the left hand side here. I'm going to add some more on this side here. Just by dragging and dropping down the line, ePlan will automatically place the uh, push buttons and it will number them. Now, another interesting feature are these T, -t nodes, a secret of ePlan to actually determine how the wiring is done among the different uh, push buttons. Here I'm choosing a T node that represents what we call a daisy chain in the common electrical language. So I'm basically daisy chaining these individual push buttons one to each other just by dragging and dropping. Look at this, bingo, it's done. If I allow myself to zoom in a little bit, you will actually see that the devices got numbered automatically. Now, the numbering feature of ePlan can actually go a little bit further than this. I can go as far as numbering all the IOs by simply running one single menu here. The I.O. address that we want may have a specific format, either because the customer wants it or because I want a specific uh, format. Here, we can simply say, okay, run this. I don't even want to see the, pre the preview of the results because that would allow me to actually change them one by one. What I want to see is I want to see the results right on the schematics. So here, it runs through the different uh, PLCs that we just placed, and it will automatically number them. I can even go one step further and I can ask ePlan to do the wire numbering. If I do so, wire numbers can again be formatted exactly the way you want. In this particular case, I've actually picked a format of wire numbering where the I.O. address is actually being considered to be trans transferred onto the uh, wire itself. 
so that I don't have to uh, manually go back and renumber each individual wire. It does it actually automatically. The nice part about this is a lot of the work that you have to do manually is actually done automatically. And of course, we eliminate a lot of errors that usually are done manually. You can see here in a few seconds how nicely this is done. On the left-hand side here, we actually have a uh, source number, and there we go. Now, this can now be exported back into an I.O. list that I can share actually with the PLC programmers. So here, export data. I can export this back into, um, of course, ours architect format. And this can be opened straight into uh, the uh, RS Logics 5000, and the programmer can actually start programming.